all these changes and orders, it's hard for some people not to feel overwhelmed doing, due to this ongoing pandemic. And that could lead some people into developing bad habits. Well, Tony Susanna Ferris is here. And Anna, you talked about mental health experts and what they are saying about this. What did you learn? Well, Byron, it really has been a topic of everyone's conversations for a good portion of six months, and it's getting harder and harder for us to even talk about it here on the news. And with information coming out every day, it can be a lot. And so two specialists I spoke to actually really stress the importance of mental mindness and coping skills. Mindfulness is staying present in the moment and thinking about what you can control right now versus, you know, oh my gosh, I've been here for this, I've been, I say, this long and how much longer is this going to be? And because that increases anxiety, that increases strain and stress on our bodies. And that stress and anxiety can show itself in various forms. You either have healthy ways of dealing with anxiety. Healthy ways of dealing with the substance use, we know the unhealthy way is not to take medications, not to make appointments, not to see your therapist or your doctor. COVID-19 has caused everyone to deal with isolation, loneliness, and even social separation. Krista Woods is a counselor here in Mississippi and has seen firsthand what this can do to healthcare workers because her husband is one. Healthcare workers are exhausted. They're mentally famished. They don't see a light at the end of the tunnel of when this is going to end. They're fearful for the events ahead and like what that will look like and will this ever end. Woods expressed the importance of de-stressing by doing things like working out, reading, or even FaceTiming with a friend. Co-occurring disorders specialist Lee Garner works at the Heinz Behavioral Health Services. He suggests being flexible and instead of looking to an end, take everything one day at a time. I can tell you what I plan to do this afternoon. I can tell you what I plan to do tomorrow. But then I have to say, that might change. It's just one day. If I can do, I can do one day. Both Woods and Garner agree that not every day will be easy, but there's still ways to find joy and stay positive. Now, if you are struggling with mental health or addiction or just need someone to talk to and point you in the right direction, you can call HBHS. We've got those numbers right here. It's 601-321-2400, or you can call their mobile crisis hotline. Again, that's right here, 601-955-6381. They have someone 24-7, seven days a week, including holidays. I'm Anna Farish. Guys, back to you.